Do your edits end up looking low quality after rendering them in After Effects? Well, don't worry, because today I will show you step by step how to render them and how to stop your quality from dropping. There's two ways of rendering. You can either directly render in After Effects or you can use Media Encoder. First of all, I'll show you how to render in After Effects. Make sure to watch till the end because at the end I'm gonna be revealing my own secret on how to boost your quality to the maximum. Once you finish your edit and you're ready to render, make sure to head to the top under Composition, select Add to Render Queue. Now here you can select what output do you want to put your edit to, so you can also rename the file and select where you want your edit to be saved on your computer. Once you've done that, we want to go ahead and open the output module. This is the most important part and we're going to start by changing our format from AYI to QuickTime. Next, make sure that all your settings match mine. Now we're going to go ahead and open the format options on the bottom of the new window. Gonna head to the video section and make sure that the basic quality settings, the quality is put all the way up to 100. If that's the case, you can go ahead, press OK, close this window as well and you're ready to render. Before I show you what the best media encoder settings are, I'm gonna strongly advise you to get yourself a high quality color correction. If you want my exact coloring that I use to make my edits stand out and look the best as possible, make sure to check the first link in the description right now because I'm running 70% off of my sale, celebrating 2k subscribers, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. If you want to start as an editor, a good color correction is a necessity because it makes your quality turn from this into this. As you can see, a good color correction can increase your quality immensely and make it look from 1080p to 4K Full HD. So make sure to not miss the offer and click the first link in the description right now. Once you've added your color correction, go ahead and open composition and this time you're gonna click add to media encoder render queue. And now this window should open with your file being visible right here. Now the output you can select under here, mine is just fine so I'm just gonna show you how you can change the settings to make your edits look the best as possible. For that we're gonna click on match source where it says high bitrate. Once we've clicked that, this extra window should open. You can see a preview of your edit right here. And for the format, we're gonna choose H.264. The preset we're gonna to put to high quality 2160p 4K. And now to make these black bars disappear, we're gonna click under basic video settings, match source. Scroll down a bit, and this is important. Enable the check mark that says render at maximum depth. Scroll further down, we're just gonna leave these settings how they are. Till we get to the bitrate settings, and we're gonna change it from this setting to two passes. And now put the bitrate all the way up. The rest is just fine, and now the second important thing, you're just gonna Go under use maximum render quality and enable this check mark too. Once you've done that, it should tell you how much the estimated file size is, meaning how big your clip is gonna be approximately when you finish rendering. I'm gonna press OK. Now it should all be applied and say custom. Now we're just gonna click this green arrow and start rendering. Note that the rendering might take a bit longer depending on how fast your computer works. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like and subscribe and also leave a comment telling me what tutorial you wanna see next. Also, as I mentioned already, don't miss out on the 70% opportunity on my shop right now. The link's the first in the bio. Also, I made a huge editing Discord where you can join and ask me questions 24-7. Make sure to check it out. The link's also in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.